Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, Season of Shay. It's currently 2020, and I haven't seen y'all since 2019. Okay. Um. Yeah. As y'all can see, I just want to go ahead and clear this up at the beginning of the video. I look this way because of if you can't see by the title, we taking out braids. I don't put out, put on a little bum T-shirt, and I got my braids unstyled, unhinged, scissors already in the hand, cause I just plan to jump right in this. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's good? Subscribe down below. And if you're not new, if you're not new, if you're not new, then you know what to do. Welcome back. Like I said, I'm gonna be taking out my braids. Let me just go ahead and give you a quick, 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 quick timeline. I've had these braids in for about two months, um, since October 31st. <laughs> and it's currently January 6th. It's really been two months, but the time span is in October to January feels like more than two months. It's currently feel like feeling like I've had them in for about three. It, even though it's been two, it feels like three. But either way it goes, y'all can see these braids been ready. Look, come on now. They was triangle parted. What are triangles? The triangles looking like circles is not a joke. So we are taking these out. Um, it is actually the day before I'm supposed to go back to school, and it is. 6.54, which is not not the best. <laughs> I do have some questions and I'm probably just gonna be talking while I'm taking them out. I asked y'all some Q&A questions on Instagram and on YouTube. Anyways, yeah, happy new year to y'all. And let's get it poppin'. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Question says, what will you be taking serious this year? Okay, so honestly, I'm definitely a big thing this year is my grades and my personal growth. I really, really, really want good grades this semester, and I really, really, really want to get into college that I want to get in. Um, so definitely that's gonna be a big thing for me, my grades, my personal growth. I wanna take into account everything that I'm trying to do, like my shop, YouTube, like I wanna really be accountable and I really wanna grow this year. Last year I made a lot of goals and I did a lot of things, but I feel like it was mostly like, I don't know, it was kinda like, I feel like I didn't have to work too hard for it. <laughs> and I know that sounds like, what? Like I worked hard, but I feel like it was already kind of set in stone for me. Some of the stuff that I accomplished last year, like a lot of my goals, I just blew them out the water and it was kind of unintentional type of jaw to luck thing. This year, I feel like I'm gonna really have to work to get what I want. So definitely for that, I say great. Ooh, and a ooh. Okay, hello hair. Welcome back to the world. How you doing? Ooh, I see these ends, baby. Child, this is gonna be a night tonight. Next question, what was your favorite moment of 2019? I don't know, actually. My favorite moment of 2019. Well, okay, so I really enjoyed going to the Daniel Caesar concert. It was my first concert, and it was a really, really, really good concert. So I definitely think that's pretty up there as one of my favorite moments of 2019. Obviously, probably when I hit 10K. That was an intense moment, honestly. I like, it. ooh. Yo, and it's crazy because like I've hit so much, but like 10K was the first real like, oh my gosh, I might really be doing this for real, for real. Hitting 10K was awesome. My first YouTube paycheck was a great, 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 great moment. Oh, getting into the choirs I wanted to get into this year. I'm in advanced choir this year and show choir. So getting into those choirs was probably really up there too. And probably my birthday party because I was really, I was really like dressed down, fly down. That was cute. So really y'all can see that 2019 was a pretty wholesome year for me. I got a lot done and I had a lot of good events and moments and things that like that. So I really can't choose just one moment, but that's just an insight on some of my favorite moments of 2019. So next question, what is your dream college and what do you plan on studying in college? My dream college right now is Howard University. I really want to go there and um, I hope I get in. I'm going to be applying actually this year, um, the fall of my senior year. I will be applying there. Um, I'm probably going to do early, I think it's like early action. So I really hope I get in and I hope I can afford to go. I hope I get like scholarship money, everything I need to go. Um, I do have a lot of backups and a lot of, you know, like if I don't go to Howard, I would really like to go somewhere in Florida 
or another HBCU, you know, but I don't know. Okay, somebody asked me, are you cool with all of your exes? <laughs> I mean, mm, I don't know. I think, I don't know who I'm cool with and who I'm not cool with. Um, but I think I'm okay with everybody. Like, I don't think I have any, like, hatred type vibes going on, you know? Like, a lot of, mm, some I just don't, like, talk with. And that don't mean I'm not cool with them. I don't know. But I don't have anything against any of my exes. Um, but I just don't be talking to them. I just don't talk to them like that. Somebody asked me, do I have a favorite ex? Mm, I'll say yes. I'll say yes. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Somebody asked me, what if college doesn't go as planned? I don't really know, like, what you mean? Somebody asked me, what if college doesn't go as planned? And I'm just like, I don't really know what you mean. Do you mean like, what if my grades don't go as planned? What if, what if like, I don't get in the college I want? Or what if like, I don't really know what you mean. But I'm going to just assume some different ways. Okay, so basically, I don't really have any deep expectations for college. I just know that I'm really going to grind my hardest. I don't expect for me to get all A's or anything. But I do expect to get decent grades because I'm going to work I but off and um i don't even know what ma what i'm gonna major in i'm still like stuck between a few different choices so i don't really know like a lot i just know like a few places where i want to go um i don't expect to be really disappointed on where i get into college because i have a pretty big college list um filled with different colleges i would like to go to that i feel like i've i have the potential to get in so i mean college is looking pretty up for me the only thing about it is um paying for it and um what i'm gonna major in that's the only thing about college that probably won't go as planned but i don't know like i really don't have super high expectations for colleges like of course i want to have that college life experience or whatnot but i don't know like i don't really have no real expectations so i don't know i'm definitely determined on taking college i'm definitely determined on getting a degree and getting a job that's my main goal someone asked me what do you plan on studying in college okay so i have about three choices three things that i'm stuck between i either want to do law which has been who is it okay okay so like i was saying i have like three different options right now and i'm between psychology law studies like pre-law studies and like business like advertising and i don't know right now i'm really leaning towards law but it changes like the season like some seasons i want to really do psychology some seasons i really want to do pre-law i just really don't know honestly but right now if i had to go to college right now and pick right now i would probably pick pre-law because I do want to be a lawyer, so yes. But I'm still trying to figure it out. But by senior year, I feel like I should know. Because I'm definitely headed in the right direction to know. Like, I'm going to take AP Psychology. And I'm just going to get really informed. Divulge into some programs that might um kind of clear the path to what I'm to what I'm really interested in the most. So, we going to see. We going to see. As y'all can see, we got a little bit done. You know, I got a little done off camera just to speed up the process what is your ideal life either in the near future or long term i don't really have an ideal life i just want to be comfortable money wise that's like a big goal for me i want to be happy i don't have like any like specific plans because i know like the more we plan the more it just doesn't happen like so i'm not really planning anything but i'm not really going with the flow you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have this ideal picture and then just be disappointed So when it doesn't happen. Or if it doesn't happen. So I'd rather just kind of have an open mind. So I don't really have like a picture perfect. I just want to be comfortable and I want to be happy. Um, hopefully like pursuing everything I want to pursue basically. Um, yeah, so. Next question is, what is some stuff I like to purchase this year? Okay, so um, I purchased a lot of things um, in 2019. I got a camera. I got like um, my um, laptop that I currently use for YouTube. Um, so I got a lot of the things that I really needed for my channel last year. Along with some little other things like my new phone and stuff like that. But um, this year, all I really, really want is um, the Canon G7X Mark II. 
really just a new camera. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with this one because baby, look at this picture, crisp and clear, am I right? But I just want a new camera because the um, G7X is more compact and you know, I just kind of like it a little better than my current camera. But this one was a gift, so you know. And I just want to buy things for my new shop. That's what I want to do. I want to buy new things for my shop. I want to buy new things for me to sell. Those are the top two like things that I want to get this year. I feel like I did a lot of shopping last year and this year I'm not really focused on that. I feel like I'm just kind of like chilling. I got everything I wanted or needed and now I'm just chilling. And I do want to purchase that new bed. That is that is up there on the list, a new bed. Next question is, what type of hair do you have? For example, 4C. I have a mix of 4B and 4C. Um, So that's pretty much a good explanation. I do have a hair videos playlist if you want to see. Right now, of course, you can't see any texture because I'm just taking out my box braids. Oh, yuck, OMG. Ew! But can we talk about the new growth though? Hold on, let's see what we at. Ooh. You know, it's been it's been a, it's it's been a good few months, so I'm expecting some growth. I'm expecting some. So the next question I got was, how is my new life as an entrepreneur? Um, I feel like it's it's fine. Sometimes it can get a little overwhelming, overwhelming, and a little stressful. But for the past few months, it's been pretty good. The only thing is though. I have a horrible um, personality trait of procrastination. And I do feel like it's become a personality trait and I'm trying to get it away. But I have gained a horrible habit. I have gained a horrible habit of procrastination. And that has made running a shop pretty hard because it goes against everything that I've done for a lot of my life. <laughs> um, but it's kind of helping me get over it in ways. Like, I find myself sometimes like, like, oh my god, you could totally be doing something. Why aren't you doing it? But sometimes it really gets my motivation going, my grind going. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out, like, who I am as a person running a shop. Like, I want to do a lot, but it's just, like, I can be sort of a visionary person. But I got to find out how to be a doer and actually put things into action. Next question is, how is junior year holding up? Junior year has been hell on earth. I'm not even going to cap. Hopefully, I'm hoping and praying that if I start out my second semester better than I did my first semester, then it, I'll have better results in the end. So far, my grades are good. I haven't made anything under a B, but um, it's junior year, so baby, I need all A's. You feel what I'm saying? So that's my goal for second semester, all A's or all A's. I really need all A's and one B um, if I want to raise my GPA a point, which is would be really, really nice. But, you know, all A's and one B is the goal, but I'm going to go for all A's because I feel like that'll get me... Where I need to be. But yeah, junior year has been very, very stressful. It is a very stressful year. It's more stressful than any year of school I've experienced in my life. Um, it's very busy. I feel like I'm more prepared for second semester than I was for first, obviously, because I know what to expect. I know what I can handle. I know what I can't handle. And I just feel like I'll have a better outcome in the end if I start off really, really strong. So we're going to see how that goes, but I don't know. I have confidence, so I do have confidence. It's currently 844, and I need to wash this and get it braided down and everything by tomorrow. So, but the next question is, would you ever get novice box braids? I feel like I would. Um, at first, I, like, personally, in my personal opinion, I feel like they, when I first saw them, they just looked a little too thin for me. And I have a big head, so I just feel like they wouldn't look as good on me. But after a while, they started growing on me. Like, at first, I just did not see the hype. But I do like the health factor. Look at all this. Yuck. But I do like the health factor of it. Like, I think it's a really good idea, especially since, like, braids can be so damaging sometimes. Um, and those are just light and carefree. If I did get them, I would totally get them in the summer though. Cause that just seems like perfect match, like a perfect match. The last question I'm actually going to answer, cause I'm like halfway done is what is the most expensive thing you own? The most expensive thing I own is definitely probably my phone. I have the iPhone 11. So that makes sense. Um, and I bought it really close to the release date. So I definitely say that that is probably the most yeah, that's probably the most expensive thing I own. I don't own, like, a, a lot of expensive things. Either that or my... The second thing is probably my laptop. Um, and the third thing being my camera. So, those are probably the top three. And number one being my phone, my laptop being a close second because I got it refurbished. And then my camera being third. So, yeah, those are my three top things. If I had to pick one and had to, like... If my house cut on fire and I had to pick one, 
I would probably pick definitely my phone because I feel like everything's on my phone. Like my phone is my life. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm really stuck between my phone and my laptop. I would definitely leave my camera. Like <laughs> that's just a hypothetical. So we ain't even really gotta. No, we have, I don't. I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to think about that. All right, y'all. So we is just done, baby. We is done. Okay, we start 2020 with a head full. With a head full. So in the next video, y'all gonna see me with my hair, you know, in its natural state. Hello. Right now, I'm looking like. Yeah, okay. And all that dirt, come on. Oh, child. I'm ready to wash my hair. I'm ready to just uh, get back with it. Like the first few weeks of my natural hair be like, uh, and then everything after that just be like, I need braids, okay? I need braids. Also, side note, I, I ended up finishing at 9.03. So I started like at seven something, I think. And then I finish at 9.03. So hopefully I can get my hair done and finish before, let's say, 2 o'clock in the morning. All right. Yeah, y'all. That's pretty much this video. I hope it was, you know, chill. You know, chill little video. Just me taking out my braids. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Happy 2020. Let's start this thing off with a bang. I love you guys so much. And peace.